Trill County track. Shakari Richardson was one of the most popular college athletes when she decided to leave LSU after her freshman year. After the number that she put up in the 100, she decided to leave. So she had some advice that she wanted to put out there for some of the people that's in her same position in college right now. And what she said was, records are meant to be broken. Good luck to everyone competing at the NCAA championships. If you're planning to go pro, my messages are open to offer any advice for the future generations of track and field. So she's trying to help out. She's trying to give back because she's been through a lot. She also had to say that when I went professional, I was very lost. If my testimony can help, please let me help. Have a blessed one. So you got to definitely give her credit and give her props and respect for trying to help some of the people that was in her same position because I kind of figured that things might go a little left field because she came out of LSU so fast and everybody wanted Shakari's attention. Everybody wanted her to be on their, their podcast, do interviews. She signed the, the contract with Nike, so... Everything was up. Everybody was in the face. Everybody was trying to get a, a piece of her. And she didn't really have that guidance. She didn't really have nobody that was kind of like helping her kind of mentally be in a good spot to be able to deal with all this. So she just came out of college one year and just went pro dealing with Nike, going all over the world, running different things like that. And she may not have been truly dedicated and understood what it took to continue to be a great pro. You know, that's one thing to do good in high school, and it's another thing to do good in college because college you have, you know, a lot of everybody's an amateur, and the best coaching usually is going to get the athletes to the best positions. And LSU had great coaching, and Shakari was fast, so it went together. But when you're a pro, it's kind of like you got to do your stuff on your own. You got to you gotta make your time to train. You got to do this. You don't have nobody over your back forcing you to do something. So I think that's something that she probably had to realize, come to the to realization that, man, I got to really step my game up and understand what I need to do to be successful as a pro. And definitely took her some time. We seen what happened for the Olympics when she was unable to get out there. But now she seems to be back, hopefully so. Congratulations to her for trying to help the youth out. I'm out.